it's the Gear Tester here, and welcome to Range Report 1 on the Marlin 336. Before I start going through the process of zeroing my aim point and the excess big dot sights, which I've installed on this Marlin, before I start doing that, I think it's a good idea for me here at this uh, beginning of this range report one to just go over some of the quick specifications of this gun. This is the uh, Marlin 336Y, uh, the Y uh, delineating the fact that this is a youth rifle. And what that means is it's got a 16.35 or it's basically 16 and a half inch length barrel and it has a 12 inch length of pull. So it's got a shorter length of pull and a shorter barrel, which means that this overall length of this gun is a 33.25 inches and I like that. I'm a short stocky guy and so the shorter barrel allows me to swing this this rifle better. The shorter length of pull means that I'm able to manipulate the firearm to bring it up to my shoulder uh, and to have the correct length of pull that's comfortable for me. So that's why I wanted the, the youth version. Uh, it also has a, a metal barrel band here. Some of the uh, Marlins do not have that and I wanted a metal barrel band not a plastic one. So uh, I have installed uh, these uh, excess big dot sights on it, and now we're going to zero them and the aim point. Um, this gun has a capacity in the tube of five in the tube, okay, five in the ma tubular magazine and one in the chamber, okay, so five in the tube, one in the chamber for a total of six rounds ready to go if you're carrying one in the chamber and the, the tube fully loaded. So uh, as we uh, get this range report started, I'm going to take my stapler here and some targets and I'm going to head down range and staple this up so we can start going through the zeroing process of this excellent little rifle. You can see this is uh, a group I just shot at 50 yards with the aim point and uh, not too fantastic we're looking at the better part a uh, three inch group okay three shots one two three but what I am more proud of is this shot up here at the top of this target and this was a, another group that I just shot and I took my time a little bit more you can see here so using the aim point we're at about an inch inch and a quarter there at 50 yards with a 2MOA dot of the Aimpoint Comp M4S. So I'm going to call that zeroed at this point. I'm hitting where I want to. I think that that lower group that I shot was about three inches. That was uh, me not taking my time as carefully as I could have. Uh, but here when I take my time, breathe in between some shots and uh, shoot, you can see the gun is quite accurate. And that's really accurate in, in my personal view when you're shooting a non-magnified scope. So it may be only 50 yards, and I'm choosing to, right now at least, zero this gun at 50 yards. Um, and then we're going to take it out to 100 and like 150 and see how well it ends up shooting. Well, I managed to get my uh, Aimpoint Comp M4S and the iron sights on my Marlin uh, zeroed. And I'm happy with the level of accuracy that I've been getting. I put close to 60 rounds through this gun this afternoon. And it was a lot of fun. The first 30 uh, got my, my iron sights and my red dot zeroed in. The last 30 were just fun. I did some shooting up close, uh, but most of it was further away. The afternoon has gotten away from me, and now it's evening. And so I'm going to bring this uh, range report one to a conclusion. I'm not going to go, at, at least at this point, and shoot this gun at 100 yards and then 150 yards for this range report. And that video that information will be shared with range reports 2 or range reports 3 on the Marlin yeah. 336Y. But I had an awful lot of fun shooting this lever gun. If you like this video, if you like the 3030 cartridge or you're interested in lever guns like the Marlin 336, I would encourage you to subscribe to my channel so you can stay updated as I continue to release uh, range reports and practical accuracy tests on this particular gun as well as the many other firearms and products that I'll be reviewing in the months to come. Thank you very much for your views and your subscriptions. I've included here at the end of this video some pictures 
of my Marlin 336Y in other conditions and situations to whet your appetite so that you'll think about those other uh, videos, other reviews that are coming up here in the future. This is the Gear Tester signing off.